hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be giving us a very comprehensive video on how to sew a corset poster guys this video is an updated version so make sure you watch to the end and make sure you don't skip don't even just skip a part and also i want you to make sure you click on the like buttons because the more you click on the like buttons the more others get to see this video and the more even you get to see our video so make sure you click on the like button and make sure you subscribe make sure you become a member of c fashion academy thanks and may god bless you so guys as you can see we are about sewing this thing now so you can see first thing we did was to this is the material we'll be using are you seeing it we'll be using a velvet material are you seeing it so please this is mandatory first thing you need to do is to um put your interfacing on it are you seeing it gum your interfacing first please you do it first before taking your pattern to trim on the material do you understand please do the same thing on the lining are you seeing it please if you like you can use the hard gum stay or the soft one are you seeing it okay so that is it so next thing you are going to be doing after placing the interfacing with your iron next thing you have to do is to take the patterns as you can see now you place it and you trim do you understand so as you are trimming make sure you leave half half inch on all sides are you seeing it the only place you don't have to leave half inch is on this side which doesn't necessarily need an allowance so on the sides that you are going to be so you are going to be joining something on that is the side you necessarily need this half inch do you understand okay so make sure you just do it like this half half inch on all sides so now we are done we are going to be releasing our pattern then after doing that next thing you have to do is we have to start sewing do you understand okay guys so what i'm going to be doing is that i'm going to be using a less on it do you understand i'm actually going to be placing a less on it do you understand so that when we finish making it the poster is going to look like this are you seeing it? Why these other parts will be the perfect? So that is what we are doing. So in order to achieve this thing, it's very simple. All you have to do is to place it like this on top of it. Are you seeing it? Just open them up, place them like this. Are you seeing it? But before you do that, look at it, guys. This is what you do. Take your UHU gum, gum on the edges. Because what we are actually gumming on these edges is that it is on these edges that we are going to be sewing. Do you understand? So that means it will not is it's not going to be showing. Do you understand? Because that is our stitch, stitching allowance part. So when you are done, make sure you do it on all the bustier parts. Do you understand? When you are done, look at it. I want you guys to see how it is done. Are you seeing it? So gum it. Okay. When you are done gumming it, please, this is the same thing you do on other parts. Please, I forgot to tell us that in this particular tutorial, we are going to be making use of already made cup. Do you understand? We are going to be making use of already made cup. But in a situation where you don't want to make use of already made cup, please use your wording on this. You see the same way we use our interfacing? Use your wording on it. Depending on the type of wording you want, whether the thick or the soft one, use your wording on it. As you can see, look at it now. Are you seeing it? Okay, it is done. So this is something we do on other parts. Then after that, we continue our sewing. So guys, as you can see, we are done with the gumming, interfacing, and everything. So next thing we need to now, we need to do now is to join the darts. Are you seeing it? Okay, guys, as you can see, this is it. So we have to join the darts. Are you seeing it? You have to join. How many inches did you um, leave while cutting it? Half inch. So you have to join with that same half inch. Okay, so that's what we. Do. So in order to join it, this is what you do. Are you seeing it? Okay, you sew from here to here half. Then you do the same thing here. Are you seeing it? You sew from here to here. How many? Half inch. So this is what we are going to be doing. So let's do that. Okay, as you can see, we have done we are done joining this side. Are you seeing it? So we are still going to join other sides. Other side, like the 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 bust here itself then after you are done joining this one please take it to the ironing table open it up like this and you carefully iron please why iron you must not keep iron directly on top of here you have to take a material and place on top so that your iron will not be having direct contact with the material do you understand another not for, for it not to burn it or you know mess up your work so that's all you have to do so let's work on the bust here let's join the bust here together Okay guys, as you can see, let's couple the bust here. Are you seeing it? Please make sure that this part is actually matching. Please, like I used to tell us, make sure that you find a way. Now look at, let me show you guys something. Are you seeing? 
how this thing is. We identify the upper part and the lower part. Make sure you also do it on your material. Identify the upper part and also identify the lower part. Do you understand? This is done when you are cutting or when you are placing your interfacing. Do you understand? Also, another way of knowing whether it's okay is when you place it like this. If it corresponds more, are you seeing it? Yeah. Okay, you also know that it is okay. Please, I want you to make sure you identify it. It's very, very important. Okay. And also, make sure you place a notch at the middle. Do you understand? Okay. When you are cut, place a notch so that at the end of the day, you'll be matching your two notch at the middle. So that probably when you sew from here to here, you cannot sew from here to here. Anyhow, you want to do it. So let's start sewing. Okay, guys, as you can see, we are done sewing. Do the same thing on the other part. Are you seeing it? Look at it. Look at the boss here, looking very fine. Are you seeing it? Okay, do the same thing on the other part. But please, I want you to know something. Take it to the ironing table. Place it like this and the iron. Okay, guys, as you can see, are you seeing it? We are done. Like I said, we are going to be ironing the body. Are you seeing it? We are also going to be ironing this place. Please, whatever you do on your material, make sure you do exactly the same thing on the lining. Then after that, make sure you go and open up, iron, open up, iron. Then we can now get to the next stage. Okay, guys, as you can see, we are, this is the, we are done coupling it. Are you seeing it? When we are done ironing it. So we are going to be using our, our ready-made cup. Are you seeing it? We are going to be using our ready-made cup. So look at it, guys. In order for you to use it, this is how you use it. Are you, do you understand? Use your um, UHU gum or any type of gum you have, BC stars and B7000. Use it and gum on it. Do you understand? Then you make sure you paste it like this. Are you seeing? Now, if you notice, you notice sometimes that um, some part of this place is kind of coming out. Do you understand? So that means your pattern, like, it really needs more extra space. Do you understand? And another thing I want you also to do is that sometimes when it's like this, there's still another thing you need to do so as to make sure that your bust here, especially this side, goes inside. Not just only going inside. And also, the, the, the bust here holds, your, holds you very well. Do you understand? Grips on your chest, not showing your bust when you bend down. Do you understand? There are dresses that when you bend down, it shows the whole thing. Do you understand? And there are those when you bend down, it doesn't show anything. It just grips on you. So in order to achieve that, look at it, guys. Look at it. As it is now, turn it towards this way. Are you seeing it? So I've seen the um, wrong side. Now, get the center part. So we are going to be darting. We are going to be darting on this point. So we are going to be darting. I don't usually like to use more, depending on how we want it to grip. Do you understand? Or how cool you want the bust here to be. That's will determine what you are going to use. But for me, I usually use like quarter inch. Okay. okay. So, so and hold. The next thing you do is, you dart it. Dart it towards before the middle part. Are you seeing it? So when you are done, this is what you actually get. Are you seeing it? It will obviously grip on your chest. Are you seeing it? So do the same thing on the other side. So now, after you are done doing it, that is when, look at it guys, after you are done doing it, that is when you use your UHU gum. First of all, place at the middle part here. Are you seeing it? Place at the middle part here. When you are done placing it at the middle part, the next thing you do is, turn it like this. So you can see this is the upper side. Are you seeing it? Okay, so take this, place it in a way that it will accommodate. As you can see, it cannot accommodate more than before. Place it like this. Okay. Please, however you place this one is the same way you are going to place the other one. Do you understand? Okay. So now I think I'm done placing it right. Are you seeing it? So what next I'm going to do now is to see. It's just the middle that we gum that is holding it. Are you seeing it? So next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be coming here, then properly place and they hold it very firm. As you can see guys, it's looking very nice. Are you seeing it? It's looking very, very nice. So this is something you do on the other part. We are done gumming out these particular ones. Are you seeing it? So the next thing we are going to be doing now is we are going to be putting this boning. Bony. So you can see this, look at this particular boning. This is stitchable boning, the one you can stitch on. Do you understand? There are ones we cannot actually stitch on. Those ones that you insert. Do you understand? But we are going to be using this one for the sake of this particular tutorial. So in order to use this, normally I would have um, fixed the Bust here itself, do you understand? But let me not do it because of a reason, for my finishing. Do you understand? 
when I fix this, it means that when I'm putting this, my stitch is not going to reach at the end again. Do you understand? So let me first of all put the bunny. So I have to put the bunny. Look at how it works. We are going to put it on a machine, then start from here. If there's something I want you to do, I want you to know that the bunny does not actually start from the beginning. Do you understand? It starts from like, let's say one inch. Are you seeing it? Half to one inch before the seam allowance side. Are you? So that's what we are going to be doing now. Now look at what we are going to be doing. I usually use my masking tape in order to avoid, you guys know what these things usually used to do sometimes. When you don't cover it, you used to poke out like, it will just come out from your dress directly. Do you understand? Especially that is when you did not place it very well. Do you understand? But in that way, no matter how you place it, this is very, very necessary when you are also using that, the one you insert. Do you understand? But however, I'm going to be using it here. Now, see what you're going to do. Place your boning like this. Look at it. Place it like this. Like I said, half to one inch. Are you seeing it? Don't put it from the beginning like this. Okay. Place it like this. But make sure it is exactly at the middle, the stitch line. Are you seeing it? Yes. So, look at how we are going to be sewing it. So from the beginning. I'm making sure you target this stitching side. Are you seeing the part you stitch? This little part, one eighth part you are seeing. This is the part, look at it guys. This is the part you stitch. Are you seeing it? This is the part you stitch. On that part, that is where you stitch. So start your stitching from the beginning. When you start your stitching, now look at it. Please also make sure that this is placed at the middle directly. Okay, now look at it. I've started, are you seeing it? I started from here. I did not start from where the bone is started. I started from the beginning, so as to achieve a very neat finishing. So that's what you're going to do. So you finish. Carefully place and this. So please. Now see guys, since we are making this kind of bascule uh, dress, are you seeing it? We are still going to be doing the same thing here. We are going to be, look at it. Just measure two inches. Are you seeing it? That's where we are going to be stopping this particular bone. Are you seeing it? Okay. So this is what you do. Any part you you see joining. Yes, we are still going to be doing it here. Now look at it. I mean, are you seeing it? It's looking very neat. Are you seeing it? Okay. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Are you seeing it? So let's do on the middle side. Okay, guys, as you can see, we are we are almost done. Are you seeing it? It's coming out very well. When you iron this, this is going to flatten again. Do you understand? So never you worry about this unfolding because this is boning. That's why it's doing like this. So next part I want us, some persons usually stop here. But me, we are going. We are not going to be stopping here. Next part I want us to measure out one and a half. And from here, from this middle part, measure out up to 2.5 inches. Are you seeing? So from here to here, 1.5, from here to here, 2.5. So you can actually connect it, then place your boarding on that very point. Do you understand? So do the same thing on the other side. Please, whatever you do on the material, always know you have to do it on the line. Do the same thing here, 1.5. And here is how many? 2.5. 2.5. When I mean here, what I mean is this part that the curve is almost ending. Are you seeing it? Okay, so let's fix the bony. Okay guys, as you can see, are you seeing it? It's looking very nice. Okay, please also remember I say, whatever you do on the material, do the same thing on the line at the exact point. So that when you couple both of them together, it's going to be what? Stiff, like it's going to be very, very okay. It will be doing the work of the corset. It will also help to snatch your dress very, very well. The next thing now we are going to do, we are going to be fixing the bust here. Are you seeing it? The cup itself. Let's fix it. Please, I hope you guys know that while fixing this cup, there's a part, the smaller part, supposed to be coming towards the center front. Hope you guys know. From your pattern drafts, you should be able to see it. The smaller part of the bust here, we have the smaller part and the bigger part. Hope you know that. The smaller part should be coming towards the center front, while the bigger part should be coming towards the side. Are you seeing it? Okay, so let's fix. So as you can see, these are coming towards the side. Okay, so let's fix it. 
So we have to fix from like it's more like middle to middle. Do you understand? It's more like from this um, stitch point. Are you seeing it to this point? Are you seeing? It? That's what we are going to be doing. So let's start from this part. Position it very well. Get the middle part. Yes, that point. Let's start from the that point. Position it like this. Okay, we start from here. Okay, then start from the middle once again. Are you seeing it? Then continue your stitch. Okay guys, as you can see, this is looking very nice. Okay, so we are going to be working on the other side also. This, however you sew here, make sure it's the same way you are going to be sewing here. So let's do that. So guys, as you can see, look at it. It's looking very nice, actually. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Look at it. So the same thing we are going to be doing on the lining. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Okay, guys, you have to top stitch. Just top stitch on it so that it will relax. Please, this is not compulsory, but it's very, very necessary you do that. Please make sure as you are top stitching, everything is equal. Okay, guys, what I mean by this top stitching is that, look at it. Are you seeing it? As you are top stitching, make sure that the seam allowance is coming towards the part you are sewing. Are you seeing it? Look at it. The seam allowance is coming towards the part which you are sewing. Okay, so let's continue. Okay guys, as you can see, we are already there. So after you are done top stitching, look at the lining. Are you seeing it? We are also done top stitching. Okay, so we are going to be, from the middle part, we are going to be placing it so that it will be matching. Are you seeing it? Mm -hmm. Now when you place it, take a pin and then hold it. We are done pinning it down. Are you seeing it? Now, what I, next thing I want you to do is, as you can see this middle side, it's not well shaped. So you can shape it to your choice. Do you understand? Now, what do we mean by that? Now, look at it. I can just shape it like this. From here, I shape to the middle part. Are you seeing it? Then, from here also, look at it. From here also, I shape down to the middle part also. Let's shift from here. Are you guys seeing it? Okay, so if there's any other part that is not well shaped, you can actually do that now. Okay guys, let's go. When you are done stitching from here, you also start from here. You see it and finish it up. Please be very, very careful at this point. If not at this point, your work is going to be either get messed up or be positioned very well. So, guys, there's something I'm going to be doing now. As you can see, I'm using a hemming gum. Are you seeing it? So, I'm going to be using it and be sewing on top of this. Now, the essence of this is. So that when you will be turning it, do you understand? As you are ironing, it's going to be firm. The back, which is the lining, isn't going to be coming out to the front. Okay, another thing I would like us to do is for you to top stitch. Do you understand? Is for you to top stitch. Now, this moment is not like really compulsory.
for you to top stitch because whenever you iron it out, it's going to be very, very firm. Because the essence of top stitching is to make it firm. Do you understand? Okay, so if you want to top stitch, you can also do that. Okay, guys, look at it. Are you seeing it? Here it's looking at. So when we iron it, it's going to the hemming gum is going to help it. Do you understand? But we are not yet done because we actually need to sew out other parts. Do you understand? And now the one question I know some of us will be asking is when you finish sewing, where are you going to be turning from? Are you saying it? So see the uh, major thing here. You can close everywhere, just remain only one side. Do you understand? So when we finish now, we now turn from that side, iron and they close it back. Do you understand? So that's what we are going to be doing. So let's work from here. Next from here. Whenever you want to work on this, please always fold from the material side, original material. Are you seeing it? Let's close. Please, I advise us to, I advise us to place it before sewing. Place, because this side is, is somehow technical. Do you understand? Place it like this. This side is very, remember it's a top. So this side is very, very technical. Okay, now let me show us the, the first thing we do. Since this side has this shape. So first of all, sew here. Do you understand? So it out first of all. And shorten the lining by half to one inch. Do you understand? I know the reason why I say from half to one inch because of the nature of what we are making. In a situation where we are making all that close, we usually shorten by two inches. Do you understand? Okay. Okay, as you can see, when you are done with the damp part, then we now work on the sides. Okay. Remember what I said? Why working on the sides? Let's start from the damp part. Are you seeing it? Start from the damp part, from, from the mat, fold from the material. Look at it, fold like this. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Okay, now start sewing. Please, there's something I really want you to do. If possible, take your pin and hold it first. Like I said, on this very side, we are not going to be turning anything. So we have to turn everything out. After we are done doing that, we need to go on the iron. Do you understand? From this is the back. Please, I want to let you know that this part is very, very important. Like, like what I told us, as we were doing the front, do you understand what I mean? At the same time we are doing the front, placing the bone in, it's the same time we place this one. Do you understand? So look at the part of the bar. You see, just divide it into two at the middle part. Place your bone in. Are you seeing it? Do the same thing on the lining. Yes. At the middle part, place your bone in. You guys already know how we drafted this bar. Yeah. Okay. So this is like one part of the back, but still at the middle part, place your bone in and so. Do the same thing on both the lining. Then turn with the lining. Just turn both of them. Do you understand? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. This is not the only place you put bone in. Hmm? Now, look, look. You also put, you know, we are going to be putting eyelets. Do you understand? We are going to be putting eyelets. Now, you measure like from here to here, two inches. You understand what I mean? From here to here, two inches. Then, you put another bone in. Do you understand? Okay. From here to here, measure two inches. Then you put another bone in. The reason is so that when you are putting your eyelets, you know, there is this, this thing, this bone in helps it, like when it is being drawn the material doesn't, you know, feel very weak. Okay. Something like that. So you put another bone in. As you can see, this is for the back. Are you seeing it? So let's join it. You see how we are going to join it? Join the upper part, join the lower part, then close the sides. Sorry. Remember what I said, for you to be able to turn it, always open up one side. You understand? That's where you're going to be turning from. So close with half inch or quarter inch, whichever one that suits you. Okay guys, as you can see, 
we are done with the back. It's just meant for us to iron. But since we'll be putting an eyelet, and we don't want the back to be open when you put the lace in. So that means we need a back panel which is going to be closing it. So the back panel, we are going to be cutting it. So look at what we have here. It's not really up to it. What we have here, let's say it's seven and a half. Do you understand? So we are going to make the length to be seven and a half. So talking about this very part, are you seeing it? Now, let me show us what we are going to be doing. Let me show us what you are going to be doing. Now, look at it, guys. When you place this one to this part, are you seeing it? And you place this one to this part, are you seeing it? Now, let's say what you really have here. Somebody should help me and measure it. Help me and measure when I expand it. Okay. What do you really have? Five. Five inches. Are you seeing it? Yes. So if you have five inches, please, I would like you to add like extra three inches to it. Okay. Do you understand? So making it what? Eight inches. So we are going to be cutting 7.5. Uh, okay, let's say because we are still going to be sewing it. Yes. Eight inches in length and eight inches in width. Yes. That is what we are going to be cutting. So we are after we finish cutting it, we prepare it as this. You see exactly the same way we prepare this one. Prepare it. But what our advice is that while gumming it, eh, use both, use hard gum stay to gum both the material and the lining. Do you understand? That's what I want us to do. Okay, that's it. Pania, you see, you want that be covering. So please, we also need to put boning on it. Do you understand? As you can see, I gummed it with a hard gum stay, both of them. Are you seeing it? Okay. I've already told us the measurements. From here is 8 inches by 8 inches. It's like a square. Do you understand? Okay. So now, what I'm going to be doing, are you seeing the lines are marked here? These are where I'll be putting boning, from here to here. Okay. So what I actually did is I actually made it to be equal. You see, from here, here is like 2 inches. From here is like 2 inches. Are you seeing it? So also do the same thing at the back because we are still going to be placing the bone in there. So let's go. Let's place the bone in here, here. Are you seeing it? And then here. I'm going to be folding it this way because this is actually the re-measurement. Are you seeing it? So I'm going to be sewing out. I'm going to sew here, I'm going to sew here. Then I will turn it and iron. Then I will now have to fix it at the back. Let's do that. So I'm not going to be sewing out this side because I need to turn it from this very part. So let's turn it. So as you can see, the only thing remaining now is to iron it out and then couple the dress. That's all. Then finally you do your eyelet. So you can see this one is going to be here. Are you seeing it? Okay. So look at it. This one is supposed to see. One mistake that we usually sometimes there is how people usually put this thing. Sometimes some people put it through this way, which is wrong. If you put it through this way, look, it's wrong. So you need to put it from this part. Are you seeing it? Look at it. When you put it from this part, that means when you do the eyelet, your lesson can be able to pass through. Are you seeing it? So in order for you to put it from this part, it's just as simple as AB. See what you are going to do. From here, so like this. Are you seeing it? Before the... Yes. So like this. Then turn it this way. Turn it this way. And the top stitch. Are you seeing it? Look at it, guys. At the end of the day, you get this. Look at it. Like I said, when you place it like this, let's say from the middle part of here. Hmm? Yes. Look at it. Are you seeing how it is? Turn it this way. So, like quarter inch, turn it again in order to make the finishing appear very well to improve the finishing. Then, so like half inch again, just our quarter inch. Then, at the end of the day, when you open it up like this, it will be very, very neat. You're not going to be seeing anything. Are you seeing it? So, like I said, the under bust, the measurement is 29. So, 29 divided by 4 is going to be 7 3 quarter. Do you understand? Okay seven three quarter so all i want you to do is to take it straight check it straight like this okay all i want you to do is just check out whatever that is there is how many two inches replace it back to this very point do you understand it will still help you get the real shape okay so now you have gotten everything you needed here all i want you to do is to we are going to be duplicating it on the other side so in order for you to duplicate the measurement on the other side all you have to do is to take your pin and place it like this. Are you seeing it? Okay, guys. Now, when you are done and you turn this side, as you can see, we've gotten the points. So, all you have to do is to 
you duplicate, you retrace it, just mark it here. So all you, the next thing you need to do is to release the pins, and then we are now going to sew. Now look at how the sewing is going to be. Okay. Look at how it's going to be. Are you seeing it? Like this. And this one. And this one is going to be like this. So in other words, place it like this. Are you seeing it? You sew here. Then place this one like this. You sew. Then finally I will show us how to put this panel, the back panel. The one that will be covering when you do your lesson. Let's go and do that. You can see we are done coupling this side. So now let me show us how we are going to be working on this very side. First of all, trim out, trim, it, trim some part of it out so that you won't be seeing the white um, interfacing. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Now look, let's do it around here at the middle of this one and this one. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Going to be something like this. Okay, let's place it. First of all, sew it like this. Are you seeing it? Sew it like this. So after you are done, turn it this way. Are you seeing it? And there, top stitch. So guys, look at it. Please, you also need to iron out this part. Do you understand? So that it will look nice. So now look at it. Are you seeing it? You put your eyelet here. Are you seeing it? It will not make sense. Now when you open out this side, it's looking very neat. Okay, this is an easy way of doing it. It's very, very easy. So as you can see, we are done. So now, on your own, if you actually want to um, put sleeve, you cannot create a sleeve of your own. I think I would I would like to do this sleeve in another video. Even if I do it in the video, it's still okay. But I would like to do it in another video. So next thing I want to show us is that we can also embellish more. So Thanks for watching. If you love this video, make sure you click on that like button down there. Make sure you click on the like button if you love this video. Make sure you subscribe.